Hey guys, got a quick video for you that's a follow-up to our MySQL videos. This one is going to expand upon the select statement videos and it's going to explain how we would use some of the built-in functions in MySQL to do some data analysis. So, as you can see, we're logged into my MySQL console and what we need to do is use the world database. And for more information on using the world database, you can check in the description below and I've linked to a video on how to install the world database on your server. Now, once we've selected the world database, we want to look at the tables that are in the database. So if you recall, show tables lists each of the tables and the world database contains three tables city country and country language city being a list of cities country being a list of countries and country language being a list of languages spoken in those countries now for this video we're just going to stick with the city table so let's go ahead and describe the city table and you'll see it contains five fields first is id second is name which is the name of the city third is country code that's the country code of the the country that the city is located in for example in the united states that would be usa district is the area of the country that the city is located in in the united states that would be the state such as georgia and then population of that particular city. So now that we have an idea of what each of the fields in city looks like, let's look at some of the data in there. So we're going to select the name and population fields from the city table, which will give us all the records but just two of the fields. You'll see there are 4,079 rows. There are quite a few cities listed and they have quite a wide variety of populations. So let's say we were interested in knowing what the city was with the largest population. We would use a function to do that. And the function itself just goes into your select statement as if you were selecting a particular field. So the syntax for say the max population would be select followed by the keyword max with a set of parentheses and then inside those parentheses would be the field that you're checking to see what the maximum population is followed by from city. So if we run that we get one row back and that row would be the largest value in the population field in the entire table. Now if you're interested in knowing the name of the city associated with that population, we can't just add the name of the city in here into the query because that would just return the first name it found in the table. So we can't join in a name into this very easily. So what we do is instead we take this value, the 10,500,000, and put it into another query as a WHERE clause. So we have something like SELECT NAME FROM CITY WHERE POPULATION IS 10,500,000. That would return back the name of the city, which is Mumbai. Now, let's say we'd like to do the opposite. We're interested in what the smallest population is for a particular city. If we select min population from city, then that gives us the smallest value in the population field or population column of the table. And we see that that's 42. So again, if we want to find the actual name of the city, then we come back and type in select name from city where population is 42. And in this case, it's Adamstown. Now let's say we're interested in what the average population is for all cities listed in the database. We can do that 
by using the average function. In this case, it would be select AVG, which is an abbreviation for average, with a set of parentheses with population inside the parentheses from city. And that tells us what the average is for all the cities in the database. So we run that and we see that the average population is 350,000 or so. So this is the very basics of the min, the max, and the average functions. Now let's say we were interested in listing all the large cities. Say cities with 9 million or more people in them. We could run a query that is selecting the name and population from city where the population value of that row is greater than 9 million. What we would come back with if we ran that query is six cities. So this is a simple select statement that limits both the columns or fields and the rows or records. Now, if we had a large number being output, we wouldn't want to sit here and read them. We could use a function that's going to count how many records would be returned by our query. So we modify our SQL statement to select count with count being the function. And in parentheses, we just say count star because we're not counting any field in particular, we're just counting records. So we select count parentheses star from city, and then we put where population is greater than 9 million. This returns back, instead of the detailed information, a single value, and that single value is six. That tells us that there are six cities that have a population greater than 9 million. So let's look at a different query. Let's say we're interested in how many cities there are listed for the United States. We would construct a query with a WHERE clause where the city's country code is for the United States, which looks something like this. Select name, comma, population from city where the country code is equal to USA. Now note that I've put USA in quotes because it's not a number, it's a string value, and we want to differentiate it from field names like country code or table names like city. So we put it inside of single quotes. So if we run this query, we get back 274 rows and they're all listed above. Now, if we were just interested in that number 274, we could use that count function again. So here we put in select and we count star from city where country code is equal to USA. Pressing enter tells us there are 274 cities. Now, lastly, now that we've covered min, max, average, and count. Lastly, we might want to do some addition. We might want to add up some fields. So let's say we were interested in the total population for all cities. Now, of course, not everybody in the world lives in a city. Many people live out in the rural countryside. So we wouldn't get a total number of, say, 7 billion if we selected all the populations from all the cities and added them up. So what we're expecting here is some number less than 7 billion. So in order to add up all the population values for all cities listed in the table, we create another select statement. This time we use a function called sum. In this case, it would be select sum parentheses and what field we want to add together, and in this case it would be population, from city. This will return us a single value, which is the total of all values found in the city table in the population column. 
and you can see that we have looks like uh, 1.4 billion people roughly living inside of the cities listed in this database. Now say we were interested in something more specific not just the world population inside the cities but maybe in just one particular country. So here we can start combining these features together of the select statement. We use our previous select statement, but we add in a where clause, which limits the records that we're going to see. So it looks something like this. Select sum of population from city where country code is equal to USA. So this limits down the records to only those cities in the USA and it adds up the population values for all those records and shows us the result. And here you can see we have looks like 78 million or so people living in cities here in the US, at least according to this database. So in summary, there are various functions you can use in a select statement. You can select min, you can select max or average, you can count and you can sum values as you're outputting them to the screen. When you do that, instead of getting all the detailed information, you'll just get that total number, whether it's an average, a count or a sum, and it will be displayed as the single field coming back in the results set. For more information, on different functions you can use, I recommend you visit W3Schools and I've added a link in the description below.